Hello everyone, I'm Farhal Imran and today I'll be telling you about a robot which is called Figure02 and this is made by OpenEA backed startup Figure. So I'll be telling you all about it so stay tuned until the end so that you don't miss any information regarding it. So let's get started. So here I'm at a website and you can see here it's the the open EA back startup figure it teases new humanoid robot which is called figure 02 before it had the variant of figure 01 now it's figure 02 they also made the trailer of it which i'll show you now and here it also says that now how there is a race to get ai driven humanoid robots into homes and workplaces around the world how they took a new twist today when Figure, which is a company backed by OpenAI, among others, to the tune of $675 million in its last round in February. Today, they published a trailer video for its newest model, Figure 02. Actually, this was published in uh, 2 August. So, and along with the date of the release, also that is 6 August 2024. So, here you can have a look at the figure 02 trailer in which you can see the robots. The You can see the, it's how it has the human shape, the torque of it, and how you can see the movements of the robot that it's moving and all this stuff. And even you can see how. The, the things of it, it's mostly the components of the robot that it's showing that how it can move uh, the, the components and the parts of it. So this you can see and how it's made by figure. The hands moving, the legs moving and even it's moving its head also. So here you can see this trailer. And now if I like exit the full screen, how you see on the video, it was like... It is short and specific, but it is heavy on vibes also and close up. And it also shows views of what appear to be robotic joints and limbs, as well as some interesting, possibly flexible mesh designs for the robot body and labels for torque ratings up to 150 and M, which is Newton meters. Or for example, you can say Newton meters is the torque, which is produced by a force of one Newton applied perpendicularly to the end of a one meter long lever arm according to google's ai overview and rom which is range of motion up to 195 degrees out of a total 360 degree so here even you can see the founder which is called brett adcock also posted on his personal x twitter account that figure 02 was the most advanced humanoid robot on the planet and he claims it that figure 02 is the most advanced humanoid robot on the planet and here you can even see that it's figure 02 coming on 6 august here it's here you can see he has posted it that figure 02 is the most advanced humanoid robot on the planet and how this company is backed by big names in tech and ai so Adcog is an entrepreneur who previously founded far out startups, Archer Aviation and Hiring Marketplace Vetry, established Figure AI in 2022. In March 2023, Figure emerged from stealth mode to introduce Figure 01, which is a general purpose humanoid robot which is designed to address the global labor shortages by performing tasks in various industries such as manufacturing, logistics, warehousing, and retail. And with a team of 50 industry experts, including Dr. Jerry Pratt as CTO, Figure AI has also completed the humanoid's full-scale bill in just six months. And also Adcock envisions the robots enhancing productivity and safety by taking on unsafe and undesirable jobs, ultimately contributing to a more automated and efficient future while maintaining that they will never be weaponized. They also say that these robots will not be weaponized. And also, the company, which in addition to OpenAI, has amongst its investors and backers NVIDIA, Microsoft, Intel Capital, and Bezos 
expeditions. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos' pri private fund. They also inked a deal with BMW Manufacturing earlier this year, and also they showed off, um, like they showed off impressive integrations with OpenAI's GPT four V or Vision model. Prior inside the Figure Zero One robot, and also prior to the release of OpenAI's new flagship GPT four O and GPT four O Mini. And you can see that Figure Zero Two will have one of these newer OpenAI models guiding its movements and interaction. One of the leading names. So the competition to track humanoid robotics intensifies. So how Figure has been a little quiet of late, even as other companies debut and show off designs for AI-infused humanoid robots that they hope will assist humans in settings such as warehouses factories, industrial plants, fulfillment centers, retirement homes, retail outlets, healthcare facilities, and of course, private homes as well. So like how humanoid robots have long been a dream in sci-fi stories. Like when you used to see the sci-fi movies, they used to be humanoid robots. So it's have long been a dream. And their debut as commercial products have been slow going. And mirrored by expensive design, confined primarily to research settings. But that's changing thanks to generative AI and more specifically the large language models and multimodal AI models that can quickly analyze live video and audio inputs and also respond with human like audio and movements of their own. And also, indeed, recently, which is a, mul a billionaire multi company. Owner Elon Musk also he stated with his typical boisterous bravado and ambitious goal setting that there was a market for more than 10 billion humanoid robots on Earth, more than one for every person, which he hoped to command or at least take a slice of with his electric automotive and EA company Tesla Motors, which is making a rival humanoid robot of its own to figure which is called Tesla Optimus. And he says that Elon Musk says that he expects there to be 10 billion humanoid robots, which will be so profound that it will mark a fundamental milestone in civilization. And moreover, NVIDIA also, they showed new improvements for training the AI that guides humanoid robots through its project Groot effort using Apple Vision Pro headsets worn by human teleoperators to guide the robots through correct motions. So here also you can see the updates also on project routes, like how there's a systematic way to scale up robot data, tackling the most painful point in robotics. The idea is simple. The human collects demonstration on a real robot and they multiply that data thousand X or more in simulation. And even also the early robotics pioneer, which is Boston Dynamics, they previewed its own updated version of its Atlas, its Atlas humanoid robot with electric motors, replacing it with uh, replacing its hydraulic actuators, presumably making for a cheaper, quieter, more reliable, and sturdier robot. So there. You can see how the competition in the sector is like intensifying and growing, and how you can see that. But with such big backers and forward momentum, you know, figure seems well poised to continue advancing its own efforts in the space. So, that is all for my side. Thank you so much.